Understood. Um, switch topics with me for a second. A another high profile case, uh, and you made uh, shocking claims, if you will, and, and really confirmed what many people believe to be true. Uh, I'm speaking of Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein uh, allegedly uh, died by suicide in his cell. Um, I believe Epstein's brother reached out to you and asked that you do uh, a private independent uh, review autopsy of the body. And you came back and said in your findings, you believe it to be consistent with homicide. Uh, what what was it in your findings that that uh, led you to believe that this was not suicide but homicide? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, brother reached out to me, but he reached out to me on behalf of the estate of Epstein's estate, uh, just legally. Uh, and they called me immediately after Epstein was found and, and asked me to attend the autopsy. So I was came the next so, day. So you attended the original I was autopsy. present at the autopsy at the medical okay. examiner's office, discussed findings with the, the medical examiner who was doing the autopsy. And what um, uh, what was found in my presence and uh, which I examined was that um, there, there was a ligature mark around the neck, which was photographed, that photographs were taken that I requested uh, there, and that um, on the internal examination, there were three fractures of the neck, the hyoid bone uh, just below the uh, jaw bone uh, was fractured. And there were two fractures on the Adam's apple. The Adam's apple is the uh, uh, tracheal cartilage. Three fractures, there were hemorrhages in the uh, eyes. Uh, and that uh, this was much more typical for a homicide than for a suicide by hanging. The the, uh, the hanging um, really puts the, the mark uh, would normally be under uh, under the um, uh, jawbone. So the, the ligature would go up to the jawbone and stop, and that's above the Adam's apple. So you don't get fractures of the Adam's apple. Uh, it's unusual to get fractures uh, below because the ligature is above. This fracture, this ligature was in the middle of the neck, which is more like a garroting uh, homicidal ligature strangulation. Uh, not by somebody who was hanging. Uh, and it was my uh, opinion that uh, this was more of a crushing injury to the neck, not a hanging injury, and that the mark around the neck didn't match the ligature that was next, that was on the floor. There was an, a ligature made from his torn sheet. And mm -hmm. that sheet, uh, and the ligature had left a mark on the neck that didn't match the sheet. So my concern was this was more likely homicide than suicide. The problem is uh, we still to this day don't know what the scene of death looked like. Apparently, the two guards who were at the uh, site, who was uh, who was uh, who were uh, supposed to uh, look into his cell every thirty minutes, uh, failed to do that. They didn't. Uh, uh, they they marked that they did well. They they went every thirty minutes, but they're seen on the uh, security uh, thing. Uh, uh, not going there for about 10 hours, for about 10 wow. hours. So that, uh, and they had refused to uh, tell anybody what they found when they opened the cell uh, and, and whether the cell was locked or unlocked uh, when they um, uh, found Epstein. Uh, and initially, uh, and it's interesting because if this were a normal New York City jail, I would have been investigating the death that uh, ever since Attica, we, I describe Attica, a lot of interesting racial stuff in Attica. Uh, but it, I described uh, Attica, when I got involved with Attica, after Attica, they set up a commission to look into all deaths in the jails, lockups, uh, uh, prisons in New York State, because that was the main reason that Attica uh, uprising occurred, uh, because of cover up of how prisoners died. So I've been on that commission 50 years now, appointed by eight governors to look into every death that occurs in jails, prisons, lockups in New York uh, State. We don't cover federal uh, jails. That's uh, uh, the Justice Department and uh, Epstein was in a federal uh, jail. So we don't really know. There's been no public release of any information from the FBI investigation uh, as to uh, how the body was found, whether it was hanging, who cut him down, uh, whether it was on the on, on floor, you know, sitting on the, on the uh, floor of the jail. 
and uh, why the why the video was uh, there were two different videos on the cell floor and on the his individual cell which were not functioning at the time uh how the doors were what the doors were locked or unlocked those things um we don't still don't know but as far as the autopsy alone it would be more uh, uh, um, uh, consistent with uh, a homicidal ligature strangulation rather than a suicidal hanging. Okay, out of curiosity, I know you attended uh, the autopsy and observed, but you didn't actually perform it. Uh, that, that's correct. The, 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 the medical examiner who performed the autopsy, does he or she share your opinions as to cause of death? Well, that's right. The medical examiner who did the autopsy, a uh, very fine female medical examiner, issued the death certificate as uh, undetermined pending further study. Huh. Because she realized that this was any, uh, even though the, the, uh, uh, the uh, correction, the uh, officers the, were saying that this was a suicide, uh, uh, it was unusual enough that she uh, the death certificate was issued undetermined pending further study. Four days later or five days later, her boss, the chief medical examiner, overruled that and called it a suicide. She wasn't there. The medical examiner who uh, overrode it was not present at the uh, autopsy, uh, but she overrode it and made it a, a, a suicide. Most people who die of hanging are suicides. Uh, automatically, but the, we don't even know if, she, if, if he was found hanging Correct. by the uh, the two guards. The two guards, it's interesting, they were charged with a federal crime. They could, go to, could have gone to jail, uh, went to court, it was going to go to court. Uh, to find why the hell to, are they not uh, giving that information out? But somehow, uh, I just recently learned, they made a deal with the um, um, uh, FBI and whatever they told them, they told them it wasn't made public and they were uh, released from their, uh, uh, from their uh, arrest uh, uh, after uh, discussions with the FBI and the Justice Department. But that, whatever, their, whatever they said happened, uh, how the bodies were found, how the body was found was not, uh, has not yet been released. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.